Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone to another Candidly LJC. That's me, Larissa JC. And well, there's no one else that can be because my mother named me. Thank you, mother. And guess what? There's no one else that can be of you because your mother named you and you are uniquely you. So thank you for tuning in again to my channel. I am getting ready to go down to the creation station, um, which I haven't really been uh, creating many waist beads lately. I know that the last video that I posted was of a new strand, um, but beside that strand, I haven't really created any new strands lately. Um, I've just been uh, working on um, stabilizing and aligning my mental health. Um, you know, sometimes you have times where you're just not um, feeling your best. You're just not feeling up to things. You just don't feel creative. And lately, I just hadn't been feeling creative. I've been feeling kind of discouraged um, about the way my business has been going, although it is growing. And I have to understand that um, it's all a process and um, I really need to focus on patience and just focus on the task at hand. So, so long as I stay consistent, then I am bound to see growth. However, um, I've been just taking a few days off uh, because I hadn't really been feeling creative. I have been doing some uh, affirmative listening, um, I guess meaning that I've been kind of focusing in on um, positive speaking. I've been listening to some YouTube channels and um, that are just really uh, reiterating positive thinking, positive affirmations, um, just helping to analyze the process. And although I maybe haven't been feeling my best mentally in the growth of my business, I have definitely been trying to keep my mind focused within that cycle um, of still creating and still growing because I don't want to fall out of um building my business you know it's so easy to give up on things when things are not quite going how you wish or um, intend for them to go but it is important to continue to believe in yourself and even if you don't have a strong um, cipher immediately around you there are definitely some options that are some steps that you could take to kind of surround yourself with more positive thinking and that's why i've been listening to some youtube channels um recently someone who has been very inspirational to me is uh peaches mcintyre or peach mcintyre um her words of encouragement have been very very useful and very very appreciated and so if you're kind of like trying to grow a business and maybe kind of feeling stagnant or growing a business and you, you're doing well like either way but you just need some words of encouragement i would strongly um suggest that you go and um listen to peach you know and uh yeah, so she, she going she gonna to give you some words of encouragement and make you feel real good. So I can appreciate that. So thank you, Peach. Um, but other than that, I did kind of want to chime in with you. I, I, I really don't have much on the agenda. But since uh, one of the things that I do when I am trying to pursue is um, my waist bead business, I thought I'd come in and chime in about some waist bead things. Now, I recently purchased some new strings. So I want to show you the new string that I got. But before I show you the new string, another thing that I kind of do from time to time is um, listen to TikTok. Now, I really like TikTok, so I can't spend too much time on TikTok or like I'll be listening to TikTok the whole uh, day. Like TikTok will uh, just make 
time move very quickly and before you know it you can spend hours on tiktok because there is so much going on on there and so um a lot of times uh, my tiktok feed consists of like inspirational talk uh spiritual beliefs, religious beliefs. Um, and so I came across this one young lady because I'm really into like astrology. I ain't gonna say I'm really into it, but it fascinates me. Like astrology fascinates me, not to mention that I'm a cancer. That's a moon sign. Um, um, it's a water sign, you know, we, we are controlled by the moon. So, um, and I like celestial things when I, when I, uh, create some of my waist speed strands, uh, I, I like to like use colors like celestial colors of purples and, and really like purples and soft purples, different types of purples, blues, purple blues, bluish purples, uh, gold colors, um, because, the matter that is in space um, create, can create such beautiful colors. However, um, with watching TikTok, I came across a young lady who I sometimes come across in my feed. And, you know, she's deep in, in her uh, spiritual journey. And, um, you know, I'm definitely going through my own spiritual journey. But she said that her husband had purchased this journal for her. So when she mentioned the journal and she showed it, and I'm like, oh, man, that is neat. Um, let me see if I can locate this journal. So this is the journal here. And um, I thought it was really cool. They had a couple of other colors, but um, the color that I first wanted, they did, they were out. So um, it was either this white color or, um, or, 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 or black, black, black. That's what I'm trying to say. So I got this off of a website called Magic of Eye. And I just wanted to kind of... Um, let you see this is like a astrology planner and I haven't opened it yet like I need to open it so we're gonna open it together and it came in this really cute packaging so I thought this packaging was really nice also um, it has like the, the different phases of the moon and like the third eye. So I thought that was really cute. Now when I tore this, honey, it was some shreds that was just falling all over everywhere. Like, I was like, oh my goodness. Like in my head, I'm like, is this magic dust? You know, like, because it was just like dust everywhere. But I think this is like probably, um, they probably use like, um, what do you call it? Like, uh recycled materials for their packaging, which I really like um, because I would like to stop using plastic in my, I'm like, what is that? What is that? Okay, so let's let's open this um, planner here. I don't wanna mess it up. Let's see if I can get this open here. I see here, it says 2022 um, astrological planner. Uh, it's a full cosmic guide to the entire year. Uh, again, it's called, it's, it comes from the magic of eye. It has the monthly moons, intentions, astral reference guide. It's a weekly planner. It has a menstrual moon tracker. I wonder what is that? Optimum times life guide. Um, as aspectarian, aspectarian moon phase. So let me go ahead and open this and see what, what it is. Cause I've had it for a few days, but I kind of want, I wanted to open it on camera. So I don't really know what it is like. And I was very excited for this because, you know, I just wanted it to help me. Something to aid me on my spirit, spiritual journey. You know, um, I'm going through many phases and that's why I say that this channel is not only um, a focus on waist beads, but a focus on midlife refinement, you know, because um, 
things change. You go through different phases and chapters of your life and you have this vision of where your life should be, but it's all intended upon the most high, but we can set intentions to get us to where we dream our lives should be. And that's what I'm working on. You know, um, I, again, I've been through many phases and I've always had um, the aspiration of being my own business owner and um, I'm always just like a creative person. So um, with that being said, I just really found it difficult. Let me see if I can. I just really found that difficult. I need to move this camera. I'm sorry, guys. I found being working in the office very difficult. Because of that, I struggle. I struggle with getting my feet wet in a corporate career. And so because I have always been in between uh, being trying to become an entrepreneur and also working in like an office um, it's my 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 journey goes back and forth uh, with me becoming an entrepreneur so anything that's gonna help me focus and aid me to understand my life's journey I'm all for it you know and I'm all for I'm an open-minded person and um, I just love what the, what the moon is and what it represents and where it is. But um, this is already very beautiful planner here. Um, it has the ocean, of course, because I believe that's the ocean. It has the ocean because, you know, the ocean is controlled. The, the tides are controlled by the way. Uh, the tides are controlled by the moon. So it says how to use this planner. The 2022 Astrolo Astrological Planner is a powerful tool for creating magic and living in alignment with the cosmos. Not only is it a year, month, and weekly planner, it is also a comprehensive guide to all of the moon movements, planetary placements, and, as and aspects of 2022 and it has a lot of verbiage but I'm not gonna read it all so I kind of just want to share that with you I'm very much looking forward to it it's it's like a book that I'm not familiar with and some people may be very familiar with um, this type of thing if you're into it talks about the planets and you know because I as I grow older I start to have a lot of questions um, that weren't answered to me when I was coming up younger um, in church or just wasn't talked about. And so um, it just made me look deeper into what my spirituality really is um, and how I feel about the most high and the way the life, the way the world ciphers in my connection with the universe. So, um, and I really believe that uh, Waste Beast can help me connect to that, you know, because even though I've been journeying for a long time, then, you know, life is one big journey, any doggone way. But some people are, tend to be a little bit more complacent um, in their journey. And I have never um, been complacent in the things that I do. And I'm, I am looking for complacency. Um, if that's a word, um, because I'm getting older, um, I want to be more, I always want to dream and be creative and travel, but I want to, you know, be more settled in my ways and have a more clear focus, um, instead of kind of being sporadic and spontaneous. Um, and, and a lot of my life has been filled with, uh, spontaneity and, um, you know, not really a thorough intention I have a focus but is it intentional you know and I feel like I'm living more in my intention um, it's just been hard for me to climb that ladder and I think it's because I'm so close to where it is that I'm supposed to get to go into like where I'm supposed to be so you know with more um, with you being closer to what you are supposed to be and the path that God has for you, um, I think the devil gets more busy, you know? So long as we live in a stage of complaint, um, being complaint, com, complaint, 
what's the word? Complaints it, com complaints and see. Child, so long as we are okay with our circumstances, um, I don't think the devil is as, as, as busy. But when we see value and worth and um, looking to get to that next level, I think that it's just a harder obstacle to get to where we need to be. So I am very much looking forward to um, exploring my book, uh, my new journal. Um, I just love the way it looks. Um, yeah, so what I also wanted to share with you is, um, the new stream that I got. Now that is downstairs. So why don't I, um, show you what I got? So follow me downstairs. Come on. Okay. So when I first began designing waist beads it was back in 2020 i had no clue as to um, how to construct waist beads so um, i went out i got me some beads i found some string and i got to making some waist beads well i soon found out that it was a little bit more technical than that and as many other things, the best way to figure out how to do something nowadays is to go on to YouTube. So I took my curiosity to YouTube to try to figure out how to exactly make waste fees. And the thing that I found out is that one of the hardest things to locate on YouTube was what type of string to use. And really that's the quality of your bead is very important, but so is the quality of your thread. Um, and I found it very hard to find a ch somebody to tell me, to let me know, okay, I got the beads, but what about the string? And so what I discover is that Drink is a little bit more particular than what you would think it is, right? The type of thread you use. So I went through various types of thread to um, construct my waist beads. So let me just go over um, the first, like some of the threads that I have um, picked up along the way. So... Um, I, I just didn't understand like so what I was running into is that uh, the thread would be too thick it would be too thick for the size of the waist piece right and so for the most part um, when making a waist piece you're going to use 80 or 60 um I mean you you can use 11 beads as well but um let me just show you let me just show you some threads so this is the thread that I use right now. This is the thread that I use. Hopefully, I know you can't really see the thickness, right? But if you take a look here, please focus. Um, if I twist this, if I twist this string, it doesn't come unraveled. And I know I look crazy, but If I twist this string, it doesn't come unravel. This string is very, very durable. If I pull on this string, it is not breaking, okay? This string is very, very durable. Very durable, very durable. It took me about seven, eight strings uh, purchases of strings just to come across this here and so I found this supplier on eBay um, this is where I get this thread normally it's white normally it's a white thread that I use but I decided to pick up some gold thread it's more of a gold than a yellow 
um, because I, I I wanted to stand apart from other waist beads being made. And, you know, if I use a gold thread, um, I could be recognized like, oh, yeah, that's a waist beaded by JC Strand. Um, but for the most part, I really, really love this strand. Um, and to me, with me and my experience with me being a plus size woman, you need a stronger strand. OK, let me tell you the first thing. There is no such thing as vibranium string. You will not find a string that does not have the possibility to pop. All strings uh, put under some sort amount of pressure will pop or with normal wear and tear. Okay? So traditionally, um, when you find an um, African waist bead strand, it's made of cotton. OK, so in the beginning, I was looking for cotton string and the best resource for me to find that was at Hobby Lobby in my area. So um, I purchased this string here. This is the string that I really began making my waist beads with. It's a um, Egyptian cotton, 100 percent cotton string. Um, I felt as though it worked well. OK, I felt as though that this cotton string worked pretty good. However, um, it wore down quickly. This cotton string wore down quickly. And what it is, is that I'm a plus size woman. OK, so anything that you put on a plus size body is going to wear differently than a more slender body. OK, I got love handles to hold. So, when you put on a waist bead strand, when you adorn yourself with a waist bead strand, I was trying to find a strand, um, it's going to fold in between your love handles. It will. So, guess what? There's going to be more friction with those beads to that string. With those beads to that string, it's going to cont continuously rub together. OK, um, because you hugging on to them, your 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 waist, your, your love size, they, they love they love the beads. But um, with there being more friction is there's there's more potential for your waist bead strand to pop. OK, um, someone who does not have um, nice love juice handles rows around their sides, um, the waist bead is going to have the opportunity to move more freely. OK, and so to me, there's less likelihood for them to pop. OK, but when you're dealing with a more plus size body, um, we just build different. We just build different. It's OK, but we build different. So um, I love this strand. It has some stretch to it. Right. So I like I like the idea of having stretch to my thread. Because it, it means that it's going to give me a little give. We love leggings for that reason alone, right? Because it has stretch, okay? We stand something with some elastine in it, okay? So why not a waist bead strand, okay? So um, I'm okay with using this, right? But I'm still intrigued with if there's other... Um, if there's another type of strand that's better out there that's better number one it only comes like this in little bitty spools like this and the the um individual that i purchased um through ebay from he told me that he can only um send it to me like this so it comes like this i put these in this bag but it pretty much comes in like packs like this and um, not on like a big old spool. And plus, it takes a long time for him to ship because he's in China. Okay, so I'm like, okay, uh, for me, I don't like the fact that it takes so long to get the thread to me. And um, it would be great if I could use someone um, within the States, you know, um, that I can purchase from where it's easier to communicate with them and um, it doesn't take as long to get to me. But um, I do like this thread and you see I got a lot more of it to use. And I also like the fact that it's gold, okay? 
So I also will use this here. This is Beetalon Wildfire. Beetalon Wildfire. Um, I was using this thread to bead my waist to string my waist beads with. Also, it's the Beetalon Wildfire. Um, this is a very strong thread. I don't know if it works as well um, as some other options because it's so thin, right? So with this string being so thin, it's like dental floss, it's so thin. So let me give you an idea here. This one says, well, I don't know, because this one is, I was told that this one is 4.4 4 millimeters, but I'm looking at this one. Yeah, and this one says 0.15 millimeters, so this is thinner. And um, it's a pretty thin string. It reminds me of dental floss, right? Um, I don't think that I, th I felt as though over time this one popped too because of the friction. And I think that it depends on the size of the bead that you use. For the most part, I do use 6 beads. Um, I do definitely use 8 beads, but many of my beads, um, my waist beads have been made with 6 beads. And so, um, again, with a plus size body, this can definitely um, pop very easy even though it's a strong string it's a very thin sometimes the hole is big and then like while it's strung on this string because of the waist the bead hole being big it can slide off even though i do put anchor beads on there but it was just kind of inconvenient even though i've gone back and forth with do i want to use this because it's such a strong strand but you would definitely have to use this one in numbers. And I think what I was going to say, traditionally with African um, waist beads, the ones that majority of individuals, like if they're going to get them um, authentically from like Ghana, um, they use cotton string. Those waist beads are strung on cotton string, okay? And... You know, when I first started making waist beads, I did not realize that it was the string was doubled up inside of the beads. Like so, I just we I just used like one strand in the beginning, and like I had to learn that you have to use more than one strand to help protect the beads from not falling off of the string because if you use one it's a one and done but if you got like two you know two or more in there then um you have a backup but um with a, a, like traditional authentic um like Ghanaian waist beads they use in cotton string or if you're getting them from west africa they use cotton string so you know i was like like, okay, well, what kind of cotton string are they using? Like, I used to watch videos and obsess and try to uh, zoom in on the type of string that they were using um, because there was no reference. There is no reference um, with the popularity of waist beads. You see it more often. I go on TikTok and I see um, women, uh, you know, stringing waist beads live on camera, but th like that was not happening just recently back in uh, 2020. So, um, I mean, waste beads, even though they've been around for a long time, they have definitely gained momentum here with like within the last two years, just simply two years. Um, and I'm surprised. I really am surprised at, um, uh, how many women have embraced them, but I wanted to figure out, well, what kind of thread are they using in Africa and how come I don't have that availability here in America? Cause I'm like, you know, there's no vibrant vibranium string. There's just not, you know, I was like bent on trying to find the best string that would not pop, but under certain circumstances, your bees is going to pop. If you, if you tie them too tight, they're going to pop. If you bend over the wrong way. If you have gained weight, they are gonna pop. If you didn't gain too much weight, they guess they will roll up, but they only have so far to roll up. You know, once you've gained too much weight, they will pop under stress. Okay. Don't we all like pop under stress? Um, if you just, if you pull them down, if you like go into the restroom and you got to go in a hurry and you make a mistake and pull your waist beads down while you're pulling your pants down, it is a very big likelihood for your waist beads to pop, okay? There's no such thing as finding 
waist beads that don't pop. Now, there is a such thing as finding the best uh, thread for waist beads that you can. For you, the kind that you design, not everybody uses 60 beads. Some women just design with 80 beads or smaller. Um, it just really depends on your preference. So I wanted to know what kind of thread were they using and um, with the waist beads that came from Africa. And although I did not buy any, um, I came across someone who was selling the thread, the, the thread, the thread that is used, um, that is so from Ghana to create waist beads, the thread. And so I got this thread here. I got this thread here and I was so excited. I was so excited. I was so excited because look how much, look how much thread you get. That is a lot of string, but I'm like, is this it? I don't know. I was expecting it to, expecting it to be like this big, you know, like, and this wide. So, cause I had no like, no thought of like what's a yard like what's three yards what's like I, on some spool however with working with this thread I found out number one it is super staticky this thread clings to each other and of course this thread is strong in numbers and numbers only because this thread itself is not strong at all so that was very disappointing so this strand has to work in numbers you you got to use like 10 or more strands to string your waist beads with this strand because let me show you let me show you how easy it is to break this let me show you now i got this from a young lady who gets her thread from her seller in ghana okay and look you see that it just breaks so this this string is good in numbers okay so i wasn't really feeling that because number one it was clinky and i was like um didn't have maybe if I go back and try to work with it again, but I didn't have the patience to try to figure out um, how to string it. How what am I doing for it not to get clingy? How can I get ten strings to get ten strands together, ten long strands together without them getting all tangled up into each other? That frustrated me to the core, and so. Um, I was taking heed to um, some popular waist beaters who were saying they use nylon thread because first I was on the cotton. So then when I was getting hip to the fact that nylon, like you can use nylon thread, I started searching for the perfect nylon thread and that's what led me here. But um, within that, you know, I bought some, I bought plenty of different um, string because this string, I cannot remember. I got this from Fire Mountain, Fire Mountain gems which i really love to get my beads from them but this is also um very thin right but um i just went and looked at this thread uh today for the purpose of this video and i was looking at it like you know what i think i like this thread a little bit more than what i thought i did um because this is some pretty freaking strong thread look i can't break that I can't break that. And I figure if I use this in numbers, and this is, I can tell this is this won't tangle. If I use this in numbers, this might work out. This might work out. So I, I think I like this better than what I thought I did. So this one here comes from Fire Mountain Gym. It's called the, I don't even know what it's called. The Supply Thread White might have to link i've never linked anything in the bottom of my video just because i'm like where you do that at it's a process honey youtube and it's a process so i don't remember where i got this string from okay why i was like i thought i was getting somewhere with this I, i'm always test knotting because i think um if you if your thread is too um silky the knot won't hold the knot won't stay but with this um, the thread unravels, right? Look here. Let me see. See? 
And so I'm like, that's no good because we don't need no unraveling thread. Like, so that didn't work. So I can't, re I can't recall how much this was. I didn't send it back. Sometimes I just keep it like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So this is the, the newest thread that I found right here. It is like cream or beige in color because this um, vendor supplier uh, was sold out on all their thread like this. <laughs> Excuse me. All of their thread, like all colors, like white, black, gold. <sighs> they just had this beige color. But what I love about this stream, it is, it is point, mm, point two seven three. I think it's point two seven three in thickness, right? Because I knew that you cannot with point four millimeter thickness, you cannot fit a size. 11 ob on this once you double it up like you can fit it on one strand but once you fold it and double it up like this it won't fit like 80 and up will fit on this so i use that to gauge the thickness of the thread that i want because 0.1 millimeter thread is too thick it's too thick if you double it up you're only going to be able to get really big beads on there right so you want to stay under point one millimeter when you're you when you're creating your waist beads so that your beads can can fit on there unless you have some some small beads with some really big holes like some 11 no beads with some really big holes but then that would be the probability of them breaking but this i bought this string i went back i said let me let me go research some more right so i came across this after much much research and the thing that i like about this what I read in the description is that number one, it is waterproof. It is uh, what they call, I think, bonded, nylon bonded thread. It's like UV resistant. It is bonded so it won't unravel. And it specifically said that it is um, done for many jobs like stitching leather and stuff like that. But it also said great for bead work. Um, so being that it was under one millimeter, because many threads that I find be one um, millimeter, it was under one millimeter. I wish I could, where's that other thread? I got so many threads. This is just part of them. I, I don't, and I know this is kind of like all around crazy, like how I'm talking about these threads, but I hope you're picking up on what I'm saying. But this is strong here. It is not. It is not breaking and I ain't trying to cut my finger. It is not breaking, okay? And when I go like this, when I twist it like this, it doesn't unravel. There's no unraveling with this thread, right? It's really soft. That's the one thing compared to this, right? I feel like it's really soft. So of course, before I begin making waist beads with this string, I have to make me some waist beads with this string first because I always have to test it out before I just put it out there. And so um, when I feel like it, I'm going to make string me some waist beads using this thread um, that I got from Child, I'm gonna have to put it down in the description because I can't really remember. It's called Millie Millie Source. I believe that's the name of it, Mill Millie Source. But um, until then, I will be using this string. What I do like to do is use beeswax, beeswax on my um, thread on this thread. I use beeswax on this thread. It helps to basically prevent it from tangling. Um, it makes it easier to bead. Uh, it makes it waterproof. It conditions the thread. And I just really like this. But however, I, I'm, I get this one from Hobby Lobby. And you just basically run your um, threads through these lines here. But 
I wish it there. I'm going to have to go look because I never really look for beeswax outside of Hobby Lobby. But uh, you use this. This goes fast. You go through this really fast. Like, And since you're slicing, you're slicing it like a pie, this thing breaks up. But it's very useful. So, however, um, I hope that I answered some questions that I had when I was looking for the proper string to use for my waist beads. So keep in mind who your client's hell is, you know, if you're making waist beads for heavier um, individual, your string is going to rub more. There's going to be more friction with those beads because there's more to love and rub. And so there's a higher probability of, this, of the thread popping. Um, also, if you're using like the cotton string, and I think many women have found it very successful to use this this thread, but um, you're just going to have to use a lot of it and you're going to have to have patience with it because it's clingy and it tangles a lot it tangles a lot um and it's it's not strong it's it's not strong you got to use several of them so of course with cotton just like your favorite cotton shirt it wears over time cotton wears it ab absorbs the water and it wears over time you know you have a favorite shirt that has holes in it, but you're still rocking it, right? You're still rocking it, but it's okay. Just know that cotton wears quickly. Nylon is a stronger thread. It's going to um, be more resistant to water. And um, I believe that it will last longer. You don't want too thick of a thread because your beads won't fit. And contingent on how thick your thread is, is how many strands you can use within that sh string of waist beads. And the smaller your beads are, the harder it is to get down that strand um, if, the, if the strand is too thick. So with that being said, I am going to continue to use my yellow, my gold yellow string um, representing the goddess that we are because the gold represents the goddess in us. Um, thank you very much for tuning in to another Candidly LJC um, studio production. We at the Creation Station but no really if you found this video useful please give it a like i'm a new vlogger i'm trying to get my content out to the masses um and if you enjoyed this video that much consider subscribing to my channel here where i'm talking about growing my business i'm talking about how to make waste beads i'm doing vendors events and i'm talking about midlife redefinement and better health while aging um, if those are some things that you would be interested in come along and join me for the journey i would be happy to have you a part of my family and we can connect and grow together Okay, until then, everyone, please have a beautiful day. Enjoy the sun. Definitely get you some sun therapy, and I will see you next time. All right?